trees are a substantial investment. It takes almost 25 years to get a Potawatomi plum like this one back behind me. For years, you don't get any return on your investment. Uh, you have to carefully mow around it. You have to prune it. You have to water it. And even then, you don't know if it's going to live or die. I started with six different seedling starts, and most of those failed. But eventually, I ended up with this tree back here. Now. In the springtime, I have beautiful flowers and heavenly fragrance, also birds and bees. In the summertime, I've got songbirds and lots of shade. In the fall, I get luscious fruit that turns into preserves, jam, pie, and cobbler. And even in the wintertime, I get some shelter from the wind. Security is also a substantial investment that takes years to yield rewards. Only an organization that is willing to plan for the future and invest over substantial time can reap the full benefits of security. Currently in the U.S., many publicly traded corporations have extremely short planning horizons. They only invest in things that immediately raise the stock price. If the investment doesn't yield returns in the next three to six months, it's not going to happen. This isn't because of criminally negligent sea levels. It's more a reflection of the current U.S. corporate environment. The security industry puts lots of effort into adapting security for the short-sighted corporate environment. But that runs contrary to everything we know about security. Perhaps the real answer is to change the corporate environment. We should make them more liable for security failures. And we should also force them to have a longer planning horizon. Unfortunately, most security investments take two to five years to yield tangible returns. Even security measures that cause immediate change don't yield quantifiable benefit until that change can be properly assessed and evaluated. And it takes usually a couple of years to properly assess and evaluate the benefits of change. For example, return on incident response usually takes a year or two. It takes almost a year to create appropriate procedures and train your staff in them. And then it takes more time to evaluate your incidents and figure out how you should have responded. And then it takes even more time to evaluate the incidents and figure out how to keep the incidents from happening in the first place. Proper incident response is infrastructure. It enables and enhances many other security measures. But you don't get the full benefit of incident response until you go on to create those other security measures. Much of the benefit of Vulnerability assessment and mitigation only shows up after you've done it for three to five years. <laughs> after all, you don't really benefit from assessing vulnerabilities. Instead, what you're really trying to do is train your staff in how to create and manage secure IT. And that takes years of accurate feedback and reinforcement. Most organizations never really benefit from penetration tests, and that's partially because many of them get distracted by seizing the immediate benefit of checking penetration tests off the regulatory load, and then they never go on to get the benefit that comes from three to four years of consistent penetration tests and improvements. If you are in charge 
of security for an organization. You need to pick security measures that will yield a benefit within your planning horizon. The benefit doesn't appear until beyond your planning interval, then your security investment is going to look like waste. But the good news is security doesn't take as long as trees. <laughs> if your organization is capable of creating, sustaining, and reaping the benefits of a five-year plan, then you have your choice of many productive security measures.